Okay, and in this relationship, I am thinking what is W naught for each of the classes. So W naught is equal to half times. We have seen in previous results that it is lambda times P of x. But for all the classes, it's J class. So we have to sum up across all the classes. J is equal to one to and uh, one to n or one to um, p. If we have p classes, it is equal to one to p. So each of the ones are this. Okay. And then, what is the complete expected waiting time, E of W? So ultimately, we have E of W for E of WJ is this. And if we have this rho J by rho, you see, you can simplify it as rho is equal to lambda E of X. So rho j is equal to lambda j of e of x j. So rho j by rho is equal to lambda j by lambda. But e of x j and e of x are the same. So we have just rho j by rho is equal to lambda j by lambda. And if we put lambda j by lambda here in the equation, so we have e of w is equal to summation lambda j by lambda e of wj so that is the simplification and j is equal to 1 to p for p classes of the customers which has arrived at the server so we have the mean waiting time is equal to e w is equal to summation j is equal to 1 to p lambda j by lambda e of wj where we know that uh, Lambda J is the person arrival rate for the Jth class of the customer. Also, this is given by this. Now, we should, uh, we should work out an example in order to better understand uh, this. So, let's say two customers arrive with a certain person arrival rate for the customer one customer one the poison arrival rate is lambda one and the customer two the poison arrival rate is lambda two while lambda one is equal to lambda two now the expected service time for the customers for the customer one is ex one but for the customer two EX2 is 10 times the expected service time for the customer 1. So EX2 is equal to EX1. This is the case. And the load coefficient of the system, rho is equal to 0.9. So for the system it is given. So we can easily say that it means rho 1 plus rho 2 is equal to 0.9. But we also know that every rho is equal to lambda times E of x. So rho 1 is lambda 1 E of x1 and rho 2 is equal to lambda 2 e of x2 which is equal to lambda 1 10 times e of x1 so 10 lambda 1 e of x1 which means 10 times of rho 1 so we have basically rho 1 plus 10 times of rho 1 is equal to 0 0.9 which means 11 rho 1 is equal to 0 0.9 so rho 1 is equal to 0 0.9 divided by 11 if we calculate this, we get the value of rho 1 and uh, that comes out to be 0 0.083 then rho 2 is equal to 0 0.9 minus 0 0.082 which is some value 0 0.818 now we have the load coefficients for both the customers 1 and 2 now we have to get the class expected waiting time of the jth class of the customer that is E of Wz now, what is the jth class? There are two classes only, class 1 and class 2. So, we have to find out E of W1. So, E of W1 is equal to W0 divided by 1 minus rho 1. Okay. And E of W2 will be equal to W0 divided by 1 minus rho 1 times 1 minus rho 1 minus rho 2. So, it is 
cumulative in a way. So it goes on. So E of W1 is this, and E of W2 is this. But this is common. So we can say that E of W2 is E of W1 divided by 1 minus rho 1 minus rho. Now what is 1 minus rho 1 minus rho? That is 1 minus rho. We can easily simplify it to be 1 minus rho. And what is rho? Rho is 0 0.9. So it simplifies out to be 10 times of E of W1. So E of W2, the waiting time for the second class, second customer is 10 times the waiting time of the first customer. So that is the case. So this is an idea of the example to clarify the point.